back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be working on this Exoterra. It is a 18 by 18 by 24 vertical terrarium, and we're going to be turning it bioactive. Now this tank is for my granule compi. I'll throw up a little picture of him right there. Okay, now that you've seen him, um, we're going to get into the video. Okay, so to start at, for starters, we're going to start with our mixture here. Right now, this is some of the old eco-earth from his old tank. It's got a few dead crickets, some of his poop and all that in there, which will be super good for the plants. It's got this dead golden pothos that I had about a year ago that just didn't thrive too well. Um, yeah, I didn't give it the right lighting, so it died. Um, so that's going to be good for the plants. That'll be kind of a natural... Uh, substrate that you would actually find in the wild so it would be good for the plants. We're also going to be using some cocoa husk although in my last videos you'll see I've added it to the main mixture. Um, I'm going to be adding it last this time because I don't like it on the background so uh, we'll be adding it last because this mixture will also be going on to the background. We're going to be needing a little bit of Scott's Organic Topsoil. Um, you can find that at Home Depot or Lowe's. Make sure you get the organic kind. It's been working super well for my two frogs and uh yeah, frogs are super sensitive animals, so if it works for them, it should work for the lizard. Um, we're also going to be needing a little bit of play sand. Just regular play sand. Never use calcium sand or any kind of sand like that. or Because, you know, the animals, it kind of makes the animals want to eat it, and then they could die of impaction. And, yeah, that you don't, you, the whole goal of keeping animals is for them not to die. So, yeah, I, I, I would hope you would go with the safe kind. But, um, oh, yeah, and also one more thing I almost forgot. Sphagnum moss, his bag's almost empty. I have another bag out to the side I'll have to go grab. But, um, yeah. Last video, we worked on this. We worked on this tree frog terrarium. Now, for now, I'm moving stuff around because I'm trying to figure out where to put this bigger tank. And I'm going to have to move some glider cages around. So, right now, I have my hermit crabs and their temporary setup and the frog right here. Um, Yeah, that, that, that won't be there for long. It kind of looks cramped and it doesn't look too good. But, they'll be moved around for long, so don't worry. Um, But, yeah, we'll get back into the video. And, that's my cat. She's just walking around. We'll get back into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to add one little Cool Whip container full of sand. We're going to be adding two, um, or no, we're going to do three scoops of organic topsoil. Two. Three. Next we're going to be adding sphagnum moss. Just a little bit. We'll be adding a lot more during the later portion of the build, but for now this is going to be good enough for the mixture. Now we're going to stir it all up. Now we've got it all mixed together. Your mixture does not have to look exactly like this. It can be a little bit different. I like to add a little more topsoil to mine than most would usually uh, recommend. But uh, yeah, so you can add, it could be a little bit lighter if you had more cocoa fiber. It can have more moss showing through. I'll probably add more moss to it in just a second on second thought. But um, yeah, now we'll be getting into how we're going to work on the backdrop. Okay, so for the next part of the video, you're going to be needing some Gorilla Glue. And you're going to have to put the tank on its back. And what you're going to do is, by leaving a little bit of space right here, you're going to, you know, leave this little space blank, fill all this with Gorilla Glue. That's what you're going to do. Um, so, yeah, I'll get back to you whenever that is added. Okay, guys, so one big part I forgot to mention was uh, you're going to want to add some egg crate, like, for the drainage layer. Um, we're going to want egg crate and weed blocker. I'll get that in just a second. But, yeah, I'll get back to you if this is cut size and added. Then we'll stop working, start working on the backdrop. Sorry, I didn't have this really, I didn't have this video planned out too well. So yeah, I'll get back to you whenever it's settled. Now that I've got the egg crate, or egg crate, I cut it to size for the tank, laid it on the bottom. Now I'll get back to you whenever I add the, um, whenever I add the drainage, or not the drainage, sorry, the uh, weed blocker over the top of it, which is actually going to prevent the uh, the substrate from going down here, and then that's where water collects, and then it'll cause mold, and then your animal can get sick, and blah, blah, blah. You, know, you know the drill. So I'll get back to you whenever that's on there. Guys, so now my backdrop is done, and all I had to do was... Add some Gorilla Glue all on the back. I make sure to turn the terrarium on its back and uh, throw some of the uh, our soil mixture over it. And uh, yeah, that's how I accomplished this. Uh, I didn't film it. You can go back to my last two or my two previous videos, and you'll see this entire process all over. Or you'll see this entire process. I just didn't feel like filming it for a third time within the past like few weeks. So yeah, I made sure to leave a little gap right here for our soil because there's no point in wasting glue when that whole part's gonna be covered up by soil. Or soil but for some reason i didn't cover up it up cover it up on the, i covered it up on that part so yeah um so yeah on to the next step okay so for your next step you're going to be needing activated carbon this is just aquarium activated carbon um you can also use uh you know some people use crushed up charcoal you can use terrarium specific carbon uh, there's a lot of different options but in my last videos i mix this in with the substrate but this time i'm going to try a new method and i'm just going to sprinkle this all around 
All right, right on top of the drainage layer, uh, but below where the soil will be. So I'm gonna test that method out today and see how that goes. Okay, so I added a nice little layer um, over top of the drainage layer. So um, yeah, um, now that that's done with, time to add the substrate. Okay, so I have added the substrate layer and there's a little bit of a gap left back there, but I'll cover it with the hardscape, which is gonna be the next step. So we'll get to the hardscape now. Okay, so we have the hardscape done. I have some rocks back there. Those will actually absorb heat and uh, from the heat lamp that I'm gonna be putting up there and he can actually lay on those and you know, warm himself up whenever he needs to. They also cover up the little awkward spot in the backdrop. I added an oak log, which is, I put those in all my terrarium so far. I've added a lot of bamboo. He loves bamboo. Some of this random little branch that I found, uh, it was kind of a dead bush and I kind of pulled some off because it looked cool. And this is his favorite piece of bamboo because he always goes in there and he sleeps. That is his sleeping spot. Every morning when, he, when I turn his lights on, he pops out of that little tube and, you know, he starts his little day and he gets out and he start, then he basks. Then when I turn the lights out and spray him down, he goes back in there and sleeps. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to be adding him to the tank now and tomorrow, whenever the plants are out of their quarantine, I'll be adding those to the tank. So I'll see you tomorrow whenever we get to that part. So now the tank is fully planted. I have a bromeliad in the back there and some wandering juice got it all over the place. Uh, there's Compy up there. He's going to like this new tank. So uh, yeah, that is the end of the tank build and this has been Powerhouse Exotics. I'll see you in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye. Thank you.